Good morning guys, it's mid-February and this is the hottest time of the year. The mornings are kinda cool but the afternoons are crazily hot so we try to do our chores very early in the morning so that by noon all is left is stuff that we can do indoors and maybe just rest in the shades of the trees. Recently I was learning to milk one of our cows and it turned out really nasty. I caught it on camera, but I'm so embarrassed to share it. I got a kick and all the milk poured and I was just screaming. I think these animals also get used to a particular person doing something for them that when hands change, they really don't appreciate it. I'm quite lucky today. I'm able to capture the birds in their morning action. They always turn out in the morning in large groups, like they are having some morning meetings before they go out in the fields. And it's quite beautiful watching them do their thing. Country mornings are magical. Everything looks quite beautiful and so different from the way they look in the afternoons. This is the season when most of our potted plants dry up because we kind of forget about them or we just don't water them adequately. So I water mine twice a day, early in the morning and late in the evening to keep the soil moist and just so that I don't lose them. I bought this beautiful plastic jar from hawkers who are walking from home to home selling them. It is so beautiful. I wish it was gold or silver. But because it is plastic, I just didn't know what to do with it. So I decided to use it to be watering my plants. If you share the same climate with me, please check on your potted plants. Potted plants tend to dry up faster because we limit the extension of the roots to look for water because they are contained so the ones on the ground are better off in this dry season so remember to water your plants regularly many of you ask if i do all the chores all by myself no i don't i get a lot of assistance it's just that i cannot bring everyone on camera without their consent I was going through the comments today morning when someone told me about using vitamin D supplements because she has a deficiency. She reminded me of how lucky I am that I can get vitamin D for free and I don't take that for granted. Every morning I take a moment to enjoy the vitamin D and the morning sunlight is rich in that. So I take advantage of the early morning sun to harvest all the vitamin D my body needs. And it feels great on my skin. The heat leaves us with a very small time frame to do everything we need to do. So I have a lot of harvesting to do today. My pumpkins are ready. If I don't harvest them at this time, then I may just never harvest them. And it pains me to watch what I've worked so hard for go to waste. So let's just harvest this and get it over with. So what are you harvesting this season? I know some of you are in winter and maybe the gardening work and uh, all the harvests had been done earlier. And... Uh, most of us in Africa, it's quite dry and hot at this time, so there is very little to harvest. But just in case you're harvesting anything, please let me know. I planted three different varieties of pumpkin this time. I have these huge dotted ones, then I have the small round ones, and I have another type that looks almost oval. Not really oval, the shape of a pear. So I planted them in the same area at the same time. Not all of them are ready for harvest, so I'll just be harvesting what is ready and uh, leave the rest and give them time to mature. So you might be asking yourself, how do you know when a pumpkin is ready for harvest? 
so just look at the stem that joins to the pumpkin if it seems to be drying up or withering out then that pumpkin is ready for harvest if it is still green and looks full of uh, moisture then leave it give it some time that is when you can harvest i hope you notice what i'm harvesting and what i'm leaving so for the ones that are not ready always don't leave them exposed to the sun just cover them up give them time to mature at their own pace the sun might be too harsh on them and make them dry up before they are really matured There's a variety of pumpkin I really like, but I don't see them here. I've never seen one even in the grocery stores. The one that has an orange cover or orange skin. So if you live around or if you're in Kenya and you have that seed, please share with me. I'd be so happy to have it. Isn't this a good harvest? I have lots and lots of these guys. There are some still in the farm. So please share all those recipes. I just want to try everything. As I always say, you will never leave the garden empty-handed. However bad the climate or the weather can be, there's always something to carry home. I'm always grateful for this kind of harvest. And surely God rewards hard work. I always have a lot in my store. I told you guys the afternoons are extremely hot I guess you can tell from the photo here and the chicken love to be up the tree I guess it's cool up there they always say the higher you go the cooler it becomes so I guess the ground is too hot for them so they are either up the tree or looking for shaded areas and the news just in is that there is a new cockerel in the neighborhood the owner of the home is not taking this kindly so there's this tug of war between the two cocks and we are always advised not to interfere or meddle in their business we let them fight square it out just like in the traditional african society where men fought to win the women so we will give them time it's amazing how the hens are having a good time while the cocks are fighting. I've always washed my vegetables with salt. Many of you have asked why I do this. Well, out there in the garden, we have a lot of crawling insects and birds. We even have snails. So salt kills the bugs and it also removes all the slimy substance that can be on the vegetables leaving it very clean so today i'm going to do a very simple recipe of a pumpkin the last time I cooked pumpkin, I think I did uh, pumpkin soup and we all loved it. So today I'm just going to have uh, my pumpkin boiled or steamed. And this time I'm not leaving the seeds behind or throwing them away like I always did. You guys all told me to eat them. 
So I'm going to boil them together with the pumpkin. And uh, let's see how it goes because I'm going to be eating the seeds for the first time. I just love the color of this pumpkin. It's bright yellow, almost orange. This method of cooking is also another way of avoiding fried foods. When I made the soup, I fried it. So I'm just trying to limit the amount of oil and sugar I use in my meals these days. That's the reason I'm going for the steamed or the boiled pumpkin. I really hated pumpkins as a child, but these days I love them so much. So let's taste this. It's definitely very sweet. Thank you guys for watching. It's really been amazing hanging out with you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.